Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Friday morning. It's October 28th. It's 4.13 a.m. Happy Friday. This is a little show I have been doing for quite some time. It is a show about me uh, sharing some stuff, (laughs) sharing some feelings, sharing some emotions, sharing the good, the bad, and the ugly. (laughs) It's for those that have been watching a while, you also know it is a show about me uh, sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I got a nice hot cup of coffee. Ow, it's really hot. The cup that burned my fingers. And I'm so excited to take my first sip at this early hour. I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you got a nice hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. Cheers to us. Oh, oh. it's the Sumatra. Been drinking a lot of pumpkin spice lately. Been really enjoying the pumpkin spice. <laughs> but the Sumatra is really nice as well. Mm. Oh, <laughs> seriously. Oh. That's the coffee going through my veins. Getting all the way down to my toes. <laughs> my fingertips. Feeling so good. My body's coming to life. <laughs> anyway. How you guys doing? How you feeling? How'd you sleep? I slept well. I woke up early. I went to bed crazy early. I I wouldn't even say to bed. Had a I've had a long year. <laughs> I've had a long fifty four years, and I think it kind of came to a head yesterday. And I took care of a lot of stuff in terms of employment. Some uh, uh, a legal issue. Honestly, I'm working on a medical stuff. And uh, just got so much done and have been kind of working towards this uh, pinnacle, if you will, um, over the last year uh, that I think when I did everything I needed to do yesterday, my body kind of was ready to shut down. So uh, I got home, I had dinner and I was trying to watch some TV and I think I fell asleep before 7 p.m. last night. So I woke up a little bit ago and uh, laid in bed, had probably eight hours of sleep and felt real good, real comfortable in bed. And let's have a little more coffee. Mm. After laying there for a while, started thinking about things and decided to get up and start my morning routine. It's October 28th, kind of interesting. One year ago today, I had my last drink, (laughs) my last drink of alcohol. I had like four or five beers, I think it was five, at a buddy's apartment. I'd been, <laughs> you know, had so much going on in my life leading up to that and was in a really bad place. And I spent the night at a, my uh, friend's one bedroom apartment in a air mattress in his living room. And uh, uh, just had a bunch of bad thoughts going through my head that night, really dark thoughts, really sad thoughts. And I woke up the next day and said, wow, yeah, (laughs) I think I'm in a rough spot, but I know those four or five beers I had last night didn't make me feel any better. And I haven't had another beer since. (laughs) And honestly, it's going to, I hope it doesn't offend anybody, but if it does, tough poop. It's been easy. I think if you give up drinking for the right reasons, if you do it for yourself, if you do it, Uh, because you know you deserve better and you know you can feel better and you know it's not making you happy and you know drinking beer isn't partying. And this goes for pot or drugs as well. Uh, And if you know that, you know, drinking beer is just covering up your feelings and covering up your emotions and burying, repressing those feelings uh, and make the decision for you, uh, I think giving up that stuff for me has been easy. Uh, So many people have asked how I'm going to (laughs) celebrate. Maybe I'll go out tonight and get hammered. (laughs) Nah, I won't do that. Not even tempted. Not even tempted. It sounds yucky. Um, How will I celebrate? I don't know. Just it's another day to me. 
again, it's just a decision I made and I no longer identify as a drinker and I knew it wasn't making me happy. I knew I didn't want to keep doing it. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, what else? So it's kind of just another day, although it's not another day. Over the last week, I've noticed myself waking up again. I don't mean waking up literally, like waking up out of bed as we all do every day, but just coming to life a little bit. Uh, I've been interested in the economy. I've been interested in some market actions on CNBC. I started to get interested again in real estate. Uh, for I kind of had my license in limbo for, I don't know, three or four weeks. I started with a new real estate company yesterday. I'm showing homes today. My mind's a blur about uh, uh, cool, exciting, different sort of ads, kind of funny, kind of me, uh, real estate ads, because I want to do things a little bit different. I'm not going to send you a just listed flyer in the mail. You're not going to get a recipe card with my face on it. I don't even know if I'll do any of that stuff on social media. I try to brag less and work more, <laughs> do good things, be proud of who I am and what I'm doing and the direction I'm going. Be different, be smart, be funny, be charming, be real, be honest, be true. <laughs> Cause these are the things that make me who I am. And for so much of my life, I've been trying to be like everybody else, <laughs> do real estate like everybody else or run cross country and track because my family did or, or I don't know, get into this, become a stockbroker because my other brother was doing it and it was successful, but I never did chased my dreams and did what I'm good at and did my passion and did what I my, played to my strong suits. And I know I'm good at this. I know I'm good at connecting with an audience via video. I know I'm good at sharing a little bit of my morning and popping on and sharing a little bit of my day with the viewers. And I'm going to keep doing that. And I'm going to bring that to my real estate sales. And I'm going to have fun, enjoy life, cherish the moment, love myself and forgive myself. <laughs> and I'd recommend you do it as well. I'd recommend you do you. Stop trying to be like somebody else. <laughs> they are already They're already doing that. And they might not even be, be doing a good job of it. Be you. Do you. Smile. <laughs> Unless you don't like to smile. <laughs> if you like to frown, frown. <laughs> Again, do you. I think that's the most important thing I'll leave you with today. But I'm so excited about the day. It's dark out outside. I got a couple hours here to drink my coffee. Maybe watch, see what's going on in the markets a little bit. Plan my day a little bit. Uh, be excited about my day and build some energy for the future. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope, uh, it's, like I said earlier, you're loving yourself. I hope you're forgiving yourself. I hope you're enjoying a hot cup of coffee. Um, and as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.